Zero COVID is just another name for paranoia. In fact, most Chinese policies are built around it. Let me tell you about the latest one. China is waging a war on foreign computers. I know it sounds confusing, so let me explain. We know that every office uses computers to do business, to store data, to do a whole lot of things. Now think about your own offices. Which brands do you use? Most likely a Dell or HP or Lenovo or Apple. Multiple brands, but none of these are Chinese. Now Beijing wants to change that. They want all government offices and companies to use Chinese computers. No Dell, no HP. Only Chinese personal computers. This transition will happen across the board. First, the central government offices, then state-run companies, and finally, local government offices. It must be completed within two years. And how many computers are we talking about? The central government alone uses 50 million. That's how many sets they'll junk. And that's a lot of effort, not to mention a lot of digital waste. So why is China doing it? Like I said, paranoia. China is afraid that someone will steal their data. A normal regime would have increased protection, maybe built more firewalls, but not China. Their response is to replace millions of computers. China is the last country that should worry about surveillance because they are the biggest surveillance state. It's like the fish being scared of water. China tracks everything that happens inside their country and a lot that happens outside too. The social media, the newspapers, everything. And it's not like they hide their intentions. Look at this tweet by the People's Daily. This is what it says. A facial recognition system that can scan China's population of about 1.4 billion people in a second is being used in 16 Chinese cities and provinces to help police crack down on criminals and improve security. Imagine that power. 1.4 billion faces in a second. Now, we cannot verify this claim by the People's Daily is true or not. But we can be sure of one thing. If such a technology exists, China is most definitely using it. Coming back to the computers, China is free to use whichever device it wants, local, foreign, their choice. Our problem is with the double standard. Think back to when Huawei was banned by some countries. How did China react then? They called it a conspiracy, a plan to malign the Chinese company. How is this move any different? At least there was proof of Huawei's espionage. In this case, there's no proof. No reports that Dell or HP or Apple are, se are stealing China's data. So this is all about creating a narrative that the world is out to get China. I'll give you another example. Last year, the Chinese government issued a strange order. Tesla cars cannot be parked inside government compounds. You know where this is going. Tesla cars have cameras and sensors. So Chinese officials were scared of a security breach. They thought the car was a spy. And guess what? They're right. Cars are indeed capable of spying. The difference is they're not spying on China. They're spying for China. I'll show you this report from 2018. More than 200 automakers admitted to selling data to the Chinese government. And this includes Tesla, Volkswagen, BMW, Ford, General Motors, basically all the big names in car making. They're spying for China. Why did they share data with Beijing? Because the regime asked them to. These car makers had two options to choose from. Give up the data or give up the massive Chinese market. Needless to say, they chose to keep the market. Now flip the situation. You have Chinese companies selling cars all over the world. What if they are spying on foreign nations? If China can make General Motors and Ford spy for them, they can certainly make Great Wall Motors or MG do that. In fact, such reports have already emerged. Like this one by the Washington Post in 2019. Back then, America was upgrading the subway lines near Maryland. Problem was, America did not make metro carriages. Guess who does? China. Pretty soon, speculation followed. Experts said China could rig their CCTV cameras. They could spy on people inside these carriages. And who, who uses the subway? People working at the Pentagon and the White House. So last year, the US dropped the Chinese bid. They decided to make carriages themselves. In that case, there was expert opinion. There was also the precedent established by the likes of Huawei. But in China's case, there is none. It is pure paranoia. Another instance of China playing the victim. 
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.